Oh, man. I used to be on top of the world, brother. All pro quarterback, four years running. Voted the sexiest Texan in. here. got here. I'm doing it. No! Didn't oh, I bloody tell you? Now stop! Wait! Hey! Can you hear me? Do you understand what I'm saying? Nod your head! Nod your bloody head! 
I ain't asking you again. Oh, thank God. I'm a doctor, not a bloody executioner. Do you know how close we came to bashing your head in? <sighs> Fuck, I should have never listened to Cinemoy. Those things came for us! Cinemoy would have to kill her. SOS! Why won't anyone help him? We can't just let him die out there! He saved your life! You owe him your life! Help him! You going out there? Are you nuts? You're not gonna help him. Get the hell out of the way! You at least have a weapon? You need to find a weapon. Help him! All right. This is fucking crazy. On three. One, two, fuck it, three! That's the last one? Okay then. Thanks, mates. Are you there? Hello? Can you hear me? Shit. Hello? We were just attacked. Listen, your friend from the hotel's awake. You were right about him being immune to this thing. If it wasn't for him, we wouldn't have made it. Maybe now we can hold out until help arrives. There is no help. This thing can't be stopped. I saw how it took my wife. You need to get out of there, and I can help you. I can arrange for transportation. By air, by sea, but first you need to get here. To me. I have many sick and injured here, mate. They're crazy with fear. Tell me where you are. Where are you? You there, mate? Hello? Hello? Oh, God damn it. I found you. You beat up pretty bad. No, thanks. Yeah. Name's John Cinemoy. I'm the head lifeguard here. The voice on the radio told me you were in trouble at the hotel. Said you were resistant to whatever this is. I didn't believe it, but then I found you and I saw the bite marks. You got no symptoms, but <laughs> those aren't love bites, are they? Look, I don't know who you are or how you know that guy on the radio, but he's our only connection with the outside world. We keep losing the bloody signal. We have a monsoon coming. So here's the thing. We need to move everybody to the main lifeguard station. There's an ambulance there and more equipment and a stronger radio with an antenna. I hate to ask, but we can't do this without you. Will you help me? Sure. Good. First off, we need an access card to get past the security gate. Mine's in my room, with all the commotion I forgot to take it with. It's in Bungalow 11, by the pools. Take a weapon and watch yourself. You may be immune, but that don't mean you can't die.
Somebody's having a bad day. This hell looks just like paradise. <sighs> Don't know how it is. You did it? All right. Thanks to you, we might all just make it. No thanks to you. If those things catch wind of us again, we won't stand a chance here. Okay, you ready to go out there again? I'll need you to find a lifeguard station and see if it's safe. Can you do that for me? I'll do what I can. Take the beach. It's the shortest way. We'll come as soon as we know it's safe. There should be a working radio inside. Signal us when it's clear, and we'll follow you. Do you read? 
We're making an emergency landing north of the city in the jungle. To all stations, I repeat. Oceanic Flight 1012. All engines are out. Repeat, all engines are out. Ground control, do you read? We're making an emergency landing north of the city. Nice job, mates. We're safe now, thanks to you. But we won't make it long without food. Help don't come soon. We're gonna have to head to town. Meantime, maybe you could see if anybody needs help. God damn it, this is hopeless. This baby needs some new spark plugs or she ain't going nowhere. Shame, though. It's a hell of a car. A battalion of those freaks wouldn't slow this baby down. So, if you can find me a few necessary parts from any nearby wrecked cars, and we get this ride rolling, I'll let you take her out any time you want. Deal? Sure. Excellent. You locate those parts. You know where to find me. Somebody help me with this bloody pain. Remember me, mate. I'm the doctor, but I can't do much without medical supplies. The door to the infirmary is locked from the other side, and Anne's in critical condition. You think you can help me break the bloody thing down? You got it. I appreciate it. Go on, then. On you, mate. Now let me get to work. Cindy didn't make it. Kelly's worried about her husband, Will, but I think he's probably okay. If you happen to be nearby there, can you see if you can find him? I'll give her a shot. His name is William. He's about six foot one, black hair, good looking. He's a concierge. He has a friend named Doyle who works in the Diamond District bungalows. I'm thinking maybe he's hiding out there. Why the hell did I stay here with Cinnamoy? I should have listened to Maggie and left with James and the others. They probably found a way off the island by now. Maybe there's still time to find them. If you're out there and you see Maggie and the others, could you let me know where they are? Yes. Ah, thanks. I'll be here. No, no, I'm good. Please. This is the only thing I have left of him.
tell me you'll help. You can count on it. Thank you. What a bloody disaster. I need you to look. Yes. Without you. You don't like these bodies. Sure. Okay. I'm Dominic. I work. Yeah. All right. 